Greetings viewers, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm making more poor financial decisions. As you can see, we're in the Duramax, we're loaded up. Almost forgot to start filming. Uh, headed down to Florence, South Carolina to meet a subscriber that is selling me his uh, 2007 or 2009 Outback Limited Sedan. Um, I can't even remember what's wrong with it. I know there was a power steering issue, possibly head gaskets. I don't remember, but uh, picking it up cheap, so uh, why not? Haven't bought a Subaru since, I don't know, June, July of last year. I think that's when I bought the Sandbar and it was the last Subaru I bought. So time to get on a Subaru buying spree and uh, fix some stuff and uh, flip some stuff and uh, make some money. So uh, away we go. Loaded up and ready for the two hour drive home. It's a 2007 2.5i Outback Limited. Head gaskets are blown, of course. And power steering pump is shot and uh, has no power assist. It's probably just out of fluid because it's leaking so severely. Looks like the uh, main body housing gasket uh, between the back plate of the pump and the pump body are leaking. Man, it's hot in South Carolina. It's 80 degrees. It was 50 degrees when I left home. Man, the Midlands of South Carolina, it's summertime. So let's get home and uh, check her out. All right, and we are home. I can finally get the mileage, 178, 287. Hopefully you're not picking up tons of wind noise. Sorry, it's really, really warm. It is not 43, it's actually like 83, which I'm not complaining about testing out the air conditioning air conditioning is blowing it nice and cold so no ac issues other than that the interior in this thing is pretty clean it is a limited i'm surprised this isn't cracked that's a common issue is that cracking on um, this generation um the door is not broken for the cup holder uh this has come apart that's extremely common this looks like uh, someone took target practice at it and it does not latch, but again, common issues. It does have the auxiliary input. Uh, owner's manual, all paperwork with it. The detent's broken. You see the wire there, so it flops. It's got sticky dash. It did not go in for the recall, which they had, because uh, that's a big problem. It's also cracked all the way across here. Um, seems all the power windows work power locks I have not opened the sunroof don't want to get it stuck yes it has a sunroof being a limited model um what else uh pretty much everything i can think of i mean it does need a bit of a cleaning headliner sagging which isn't common for subarus that's odd uh but leather seems to be in good good condition the carpets aren't horribly stained uh, pretty good on that front. Someone painted that silver for some unknown reason. Uh, we got a tire pressure light on. I'm gonna fill the tires, top them up because they're visibly slack. Uh, holding temperature, but we do have blown head gaskets because it built pressure nearly immediately. It's also low on coolant. Uh, so head gaskets will be done on this car. Power steering pump is pouring profusely. Uh, so definitely rebuilding it first since it's only about $35 for a rebuild kit, and if that doesn't work, we'll put a pump on it. But I'd rather rebuild it first and try. Windows are already tinted. Has had a wreck at its life at some point. I think it was in a rear-end collision. Uh, the paint doesn't look right, and the tail lights are aftermarket. They're not Subaru genuine. Also, the fitment of the trunk lid to the bumper is off if you can tell over here it's sagging so definitely got hit does have a tow package um also there's a lot of bondo in this uh quarter panel back here right along here uh looked underneath when strapping on the trailer and i did see some uh, mangled metal near the um 
near where the hitch was bolted on where the tow hook should be uh passenger rear door or driver rear door does not open from the outside we we'll have to look at the latch see what's going on with that <clears throat> that's the tire that slacked there i think that's why we got our light on hopefully it's not a bad tpms sensor uh headlights are pretty clear and they are genuine so it probably hasn't been in a fr uh, front end collision and been replaced So as we see, massive power steering fluid leak. Belt is uh, pretty wet as well. So likely uh, the O-ring's leaking. Looks like someone put RTV around where the O-ring goes. Looks like uh, possibly the pump shaft seal's leaking as well. We got a reman alternator, uh, OE AC compressor. Uh, owner told me new plugs and wires. That's a newer battery, but it was stone dead. Hopefully it'll take a charge and charge back up. We got a new starter, which is kind of rare. Rarely do I see starters fail on Subarus. Uh, this car came out of Massachusetts, I believe, according to the business card in the owner's manual from the original dealership it was sold at. So it does have some rust, but it's not bad. Uh, definitely seen worse rust on Subarus. Uh, previous owner gave me an old engine harness. He had to replace the engine harness due to a short and uh, about five or six wires in the main engine harness melting. Assuming the way it runs, it didn't hurt the ECU or PCM, whichever acronym you want to go with. Um, yeah, I got a ton of pressure in this top hose already. So definitely blown to compression rather than an external leak which is the normal fault for these head gaskets this generation but other than that pretty clean car i believe especially since i only paid 300 dollars for it so it runs and drives has a couple issues head gasket replacement me doing it myself parts um you know i'm not counting my labor uh probably about 350 to have the heads machine probably another 150 for uh, the head gasket kit I use off of my Amazon storefront from uh, Subaru Parts Online where they sell on uh, Amazon. Uh, probably going to go ahead and put a time and belt water pump on it while I got the heads off because I don't know the age. And uh, this 180,000 miles is getting close for its second time and belt if it hadn't had it yet. Uh, serpentine belts, might as well. Um, there was some brake issues apparently according to the previous owner he put replaced brake calipers air brackets he gave me a new brake caliper i'm assuming it's this uh driver front looks like there's a new you might not be able to see that there's a new caliper bracket but the old caliper so we've got a new caliper might as well put it on there and we do got some exhaust leaks and some heat shield rattle which is common especially on this generation with the manifold that curves to the front so we'll probably just end up taking the shields off or uh, band clamping them or something like that or self-tapping sheet metal screws, whatever it is to quiet them down. Other than that, pretty clean. Looks like someone plasti dipped the grill. This shouldn't have a black grill being a limited. Also, yep, it's peeling. So hopefully this plasti dip peels off of here nice and easy. And we can have the uh, original metallic gray should be grill. Hopefully it's... Uh, pretty decent shape underneath luckily this plastic dip's peeling right off they put it on pretty thin so uh i'll work on that at a later date but yeah not too bad for 300 bucks i don't think and uh gives us some content gives us some repairs to do so uh stay tuned to that man i'm glad to see the sun shining and at 80 something degrees out here it's been a cold wet winter mainly wet it's been raining for about 40 days and 40 nights out here but uh, yeah, here's the introduction to this 2007 Legacy Limited 2.5i. And uh, I'm sure we'll be seeing some videos in the near future. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.